It's Lorbrick, obviously, and Jared. We're uh, trying to get off the steep grade of the canyon. We ended up hiking through this brush. You gotta imagine what Bigfoot would do if Bigfoot was hiking through the woods. It'd be the same concept, but uh, we're trying to find a trail back. We found a grotto or a den. We hung out at it for a while. We found some springs. We found some hot springs where steam was coming out. Uh, a lot of nice little finds in this location. And all we can do right now is work our way back. If there is a Sasquatch in this canyon, it's pretty narrow. Jared and I will find it. Might even night vision film it. But uh, we have we have a lot of different obstacles. Like there's a tree here. There's no set trail. We're just basically climbing rocks, lots of granite rocks, making our way down to the bottom of the canyon where we'll meet up with the river. There'll be a place we can cross the river and head back for a mile through the woods to our truck where we can get in the truck and just go. But uh, it'd be amazing if we could film a Bigfoot. I did a lot of calls. I didn't get any response. I got one response, and I mean, it was so far away and faint that I wasn't really able to record it. But uh, Jared and I are going to work our way down. It's so dark right now. I mean, all we see are trees. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, oh, my back. Oh. Ah. Ah. All right. I'll, I'll live. I just hit my back really hard. I slipped on some pine needles. This is spooky, man. We're in... We're surrounded on all sides by granite rock. There's like... Oh my god, there's like nothing here. Just big rocks, big boulders on every side of us. And we're trapped down in here. If something were to eat us, it'd have a fun time because there's no escape where we're at right now. But, uh... We'll keep working our way out of this beautiful place. The moon's out. I have new infrared lights on me, so the night vision should be a little bit clearer and better. But Jared and I will continue to work our way out of this place. We are going to hit a main trail soon. Uh, this has been a very successful Bigfoot investigation. And uh, it's the first of 2012, so, you know, we always got to make it a little bit special. I didn't think today I'd find any Sasquatch evidence, but instead we found two different sets of tracks. Both were very credible. One was in a hidden location, so we know, or at least as cryptozoologists, we have a pretty good idea that something is out here. We're not hiking on any trails. We're actually off the trail. We're just going through the woods, heading east in the canyon, hopefully to meet up with the trail, and hell if we don't, we know that if we continue down to this canyon, it will lead to the Grover Springs uh, area. And Grover Springs is very, it's a very open area because it was a ranch, and it was lumbered, and uh, you just, you can't miss it. It's at the end of this canyon, while the other end is just overgrown and full of cliffs, which we just came back from. But anyways, we are, we are hiking in the dark, man, and I know this isn't the best footage, but this is the real deal. You know, we are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we have Jared here. He's not afraid of the dark. He'll hike, he'll look for Bigfoot with me anytime, night or day. Uh, that's just his mentality. He's Bigfoot crazy like I am. And uh, my friends laugh because they're like, you are such a Bigfoot lover. But it is a creature that I've grown to track and down. I think it's a peaceful creature. And to be able to, imagine being able to film one climbing during the day or walking away from you would be a hell of a film for our viewers. But uh, we're just climbing and climbing. All I see around me are rocks and trees. It's so overgrown. I can kind of use the moon. Whoa. I can kind of use the moon to guide us. We're going to have to go around, my friend. Uh, go to your, yes, go to your right and go down. It drops off really bad over there. Um, yeah, right here. Let's follow the wash down to the bottom. Whew. The air is thin. I hear the creek, so we're close. Uh, the waterfalls or whatever. Somebody left a can down here. Do not litter. 
I will kick your ass. If I need. Oh. I split. Oh man, this is treacherous. This is real Bigfoot hunting, that's for sure. Knife gun. Coffee up. Oh. Wow. We got it. We're safe. We're saved. And uh, here's the wash. If we take this down, I hear water. It should cut near the creek. And we can follow the creek back to the truck. I don't know if something's out here, man. But earlier I heard movement. I heard scream off in the distance. And I sat here and thought to myself, Wow, this is, this is like Bigfoot country. Anyways, I'm falling. My ankles, both are twisted. Stepping on the wrong rocks. I hear the creek. We're about to enter an area of salvation. Call it salvation, but when you find the creek and you know that's the way back, that's like the best news you can get. And right now, it's unbelievable, but uh, we're surrounded by rocks and woods. We can't even see where we're going. We can see some moon shining through. I'm climbing through. Whoa. I'm climbing through trees. Wow. Here we go. I hear the creek. The creek's near the trail. Jared trusts me to lead him out of here. And I will do just that. I will lead Jared out of here with me. And we will go home. And we will have some grilled cheese. And we will have some Campbell's soup. And we will play some... Uh, Dead Island Zombies and celebrate based on this hard-earned investigation. We are at, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, we are at the creek. And uh, from here on, I'm going to have to find a way to go around this, but this creek should lead us, it's right down here, should lead us out. Uh, Surrounded by woods on all sides, no trail in the middle of nowhere. This is what it's all about, folks. Let's see if we can tag a Bigfoot on our way out of here, get him on film, maybe find some more prints out in a secluded area like this. Uh, check us out sometime, www.paranormalghostsociety.org. Uh, I want people to keep in mind where we're at right now. This is mountain lion country, so... We have seen mountain lion tracks, and they come out at this time to hunt and eat. So uh, we definitely want to keep the knife close, the gun close, and make sure that uh, we're safe, that nothing's going to have its way eating us. Uh, here's the waterfall. We need to be careful. One wrong slip, you go, you, you know, you can fall 10, 15 feet. And, uh... Break a leg, break an ankle. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Whoa! There we go. Look at that water flow. This is Lord Rick. Yeah, we're gonna work our way down. Hold on. <laughs> 